Hi, I'm Bill Black from Spirit River. It's my pleasure to teach you how to tie the Light Cahill. This is a very old, tried and true classic pattern. What we've got here is a fly tying kit that Spirit River sells. In the kit is instructions, hooks, everything you need except thread to tie this. Um, what I'd like to do is cover the uh, materials that are used for this fly. Obviously it's a hook and we've, we'll start with a wing which is imitation wood duck uh, mallard and we're going to tie that in as a wing lift it up split it we're going to go back and for the tail we're going to use hackle fibers we're going to use a dubbing for the body this is our fine and dry dubbing a really fine synthetic dubbing doesn't absorb water this fly you don't want to use soft materials because you want it to float and finally we're going to put on a hackle and the hackle imitates the legs of the insect the vise is adjusted properly with the lever down. We're going to start with a basically a matching color of thread. Normally you want to use a color of thread that matches the general color of the fishing fly, kind of as a general rule. I leave my thread hanging about one-third back on this hook shank. I will select a, a piece of feather. This feather, I'm going to just bunch it together. Now you can sometimes get two flies off of one feather, but this is a size 12, this is quite large. Match it so it's about equal to the length of the hook, up between your fingers and down with the thread. Up between your fingers and down, and wrap back. Okay, lift it all up and clip it. You've got a nice clean base there. This is going to be your wing. So I'm going to take a couple wraps in front. It's called posting the wing couple more. Then I'm going to basically split that wing in half and I'm going to do what's called a figure eight. I go around and around and sometimes I'm not putting a lot of pressure and if the fibers get real strange you can kind of go around like this and make put them together. See how I brought all those fiber tips together. I'll do that on this one. Okay, that's a real nice little trick to use. Makes your flies look very uniform okay now I'm going to go back and tie the tail in and I've got a thread base which is important I'm going to grab one of the hackles this is a saddle hackle again you want to use stiff materials now what I've done with this this feather was like this run your fingers down it and um, I'm trying to get my tips of my feathers to match up so my tail all the fibers on the tail match the same okay I'm going to want this tail to be the length of the hook, so I'm going to tie it right in about there. In addition, I'm going to want the scrap, or the, the excess portion of this, to come to right about where the wing portion of excess stopped. That will give me a nice uniform body. This is a little long, you can always back up. It's a nice thing about tying, up between the fingers and down. There we go. Now, you can see this tail material stopped right about where the wing material was tied in and look at that nice even body that I've got next I'll take a little bit of dubbing this is our fine and dry dubbing it's just amazingly easy to use and I dub it on I create a noodle set it on the thread and I twist it in one direction not both ways and I'll go around here a few times and I start at the very back right about above the barb of the hook and I'll start winding it on. Okay, now that's about enough so I'm going to strip a little bit off. There we go. Now it's time to tie in a hackle. You can always measure your hackle and you should by spinning it underneath and this should be one and a half to two times this hook gauge. This one is, so I'm going to tie it in. I'm going to catch that little stem again in the front of it. And I'm going to bring my thread right up to the eye of the hook. A lot of times here, <coughs> with smaller hackles, you want to use a hackle plier. In fact, you can see the tip of a hackle right there where I, where I did it before. But fortunately for us, the saddle hackle is quite long. I don't think I'll need it. So I'm going to go around here a few times. Try to take wraps directly in front of the next. 
and then I pull these all back and I get this up in front of the wing each wrap directly in front of the next uh, in the western rivers you like a fully hackled fly on eastern rivers you probably only need six or eight wraps I've probably put 12 or 14 on here by now okay you saw me tie it off I'll go in here and I'll nip it and I again I'll pull it all back I take my thumbnail and I push that head back just a little bit it gives me a little bit of room for a really nice clean head a good fly always has a nice clean head a little area to put a drop of super glue I'm going to whip finish this or you can half hitch it like this if you do always cinch up your half hitches flip it this is a light K hill and it's always important to trim your fly up after it's been tied I've got a few wild hairs uh, not only in me but on the fly and here you have a beautiful light K hill proportions are basically the shank is the same length as the tail about half the fly is body, half of it is hackle, wing, and head. Uh, and the hackle is one and a half to two times the gape. The wing is usually about two times the gape and should stick up just a hair above the hackle like this one. And that is Light Cahill from Spirit River. Thanks for watching. Bye.